spent a couple of days working on uh, after that axle got moved spent a couple days on just some initial fabrication for the drive sprocket and the track so I'm going to show you the show what we got done there so this is the track and the drive sprocket and we've also fabbed up or uh, just tacked together a little walking beam just to see how it would sit and then to understand where the track once it's laid on top how it'll fit with the uh, with the cleats there and the spacing we'll have for the track and the walking beams to tilt up and down so yeah took and divided it in eight pieces <coughs> put uh, eight triangle shaped um, cogs on and the cogs uh, line up really well with the really well with the, the track built uh, templates for everything so I've got a template here for drilling the holes in the in the um, conveyor belting a couple of pins to keep the next piece in place build some other little templates for these for building the cogs to keep them exactly inch and a half apart and then some a template board for drilling the uh, and these are the, this is the master of our uh, uh, the cleat for the <clears throat> track and this is the master for the um, um, the guide on the inside and here you can see one one of the guides with the welded on and this is to keep the tire from sliding left and right I'll show you that we'll go grab a tire from the stack here so you can see now when this is riding there's a little bit of room left and right but overall it'll allow it to move a little bit left and right the guides these are just tacked on right now there's a couple that are fully welded but the rest are just tacked until I figure out the angle I want them at that I don't know for sure yet I've just cut them and bent them out of that 3 8 round bar there heated them up in a torch and then uh, bent them with a with a bar bender and then finished them off with a just by hand and then of course this track would then lay on top on the top and the bottom like so so as you can see there's lots of clearance there for the uh, for the guides and the walking beam so that was kind of the reason for mocking this all up hello YouTube so today is uh, Saturday we're going to do a little work on the machine and first thing we're going to do is work on drilling the holes for the uh, cleats as you can see I've got a stack of metal here and uh, half done the cleats just shoot some video and then I'll play around with time lapsing it forward of, us, of me drilling it So the next thing I gotta do here is set up the next hole. So this is my template. I drilled the next hole in the middle to know. So this goes slides in like so. And uh and then from the other side start. So turn these off.
pretty close. there and then get started. So, as you can see, this is taking a really long time. So, I got an idea that I'm going to uh, make a template, a new template, that allow me to put two in. One like that, one like this, and drill two holes at one time. So, I'm going to pause the video, build that template to replace this one, and uh, then we'll start shooting again. Okay, got a new template built, so now we're going to have to adjust the deck here, and uh, oops. fit two of these in, so they should fit, no problem, a little bit of gap, and that's okay, and it's technically going to fit like so, like so. This one, this drill we're doing. See the board's a little short, but we'll just have to hold it down while we drill this hole. Should be a big issue. Okay, pretty close. Put it back there. Just 
start with this one. This one. Oops. There we go. Got company. Okay. Looks like it stopped recording, but we'll see, I guess, once I take the video off. So, here we go. <sighs> All done. So, each of these stacks of 20, so we've got 99. And uh, that should be enough to do one side, to do one track. Now the next step is to cut more of these, drill the holes. And I've been building these, these U-shaped bars from 3 8 round bar. We've cleaned up the shop a little bit, so things are a little easier to get around. In my coffee can. There's a whole pile of them. Don't know how many there are in there, but it won't be enough for both sides. If we estimate 100 cleats, then we're going to need 200 of the guides. So 200 of these per side, so 200 of these per side. So a total of 200 of these, 400 of these, 400 of these. 800 holes drilled in these per side. 800 holes in this. So 1,600 holes times 2, 3,200 holes to drill, 1,600 bolts required, 1,600 nuts, which I plan on getting on Monday, or at least a good portion of it. So, well, I'm going to uh, sign out now and hopefully we can put that video up on the internet and uh, everybody can take a look at what we've had so far. Thanks.